hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install and run fedora workstation 36 on virtualbox now for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i am running windows server i can run windows 10 windows 11 linux or any other operating system here on my virtualbox so we are going to run fedora on our virtualbox now first we have to download and install virtualbox so head to your google chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over here, click on it. And then by the left, click on Downloads. Now you can see VirtualBox for Windows host, which is what we are using. So click on it and it will start downloading. Now the installation process is actually very easy. You just have to install just like every other software. I will cancel this since I already have it installed. Now if you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox. Now the next thing we have to download is Fedora image file. So let's search for Fedora. And then click on the first page over here, Fedora, which leads to getfedora.org. So let me view this full screen. Now you can see Fedora 36 has been released. Now we are going to download Fedora workstation and that is what we are going to use to run in our VirtualBox. So we'll click on download now. And you can see for Mac OS and for Linux or an ISO file so click on download and it would start downloading for x86 underscore 64 bits I already have this downloaded so I'll cancel this this is 1.9 gig of size you can maybe use an internet download manager now we are done with this so let me close it now you can see on my PC this is Fedora workstation live which I already downloaded and this is what we are going to use for the installation now we have to create a new virtual machine and to do that Open your virtual box and then click on tools over here and then click on new. So let's call this Fedora. Select the type and change it to Linux and then select the version, change it to Fedora 64 bits and then click on next. Now enter the amount of RAM you want to allocate to this virtual machine. I have 16 gig so I will give this 5 gig of RAM. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your total RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your main host computer next create a virtual hard disk now create vdi next dynamically allocated next now enter the amount of storage you want to allocate to this virtual machine now you can't allocate more than what you have so make sure to check that out we are giving this 65.8 gig from 20 gig upward should be okay now let's create so our new virtual machine has been created and you can see the details over here now we have to make changes to a few other things so click on settings and then go to system this is the motherboard and this is the base memory which we can change whenever we want click on processor and then enter the amount of cpu core you want to allocate to this machine now you can see the recommended from one to four from five to eight is not recommended so let's go with three now click on display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes turn on 3d acceleration and we are good so let's click on ok now we have to import the image file, the ISO file we downloaded. Now click on start up here. Okay, so you can see this file icon by the right over here. Click on it and then click on add. Now select your Fedora image file we already downloaded. And then click on open. Choose. So once we click on start, it would initiate the installation process. So let's click on start okay so hit enter or you can just leave it in 57 seconds it would boot but i will just hit enter to skip this now the next thing you would press is the escape key to skip the drive check the media check is complete you can see that's because of i used the escape key to abort this check now if you leave it to run completely you may encounter error with this so let's just wait So you can see over here we can begin the installation so let's install to hard disk so click on install to hard disk now select the language and then continue okay click on the partition select the disk done now begin installation now this will take some time so you just have to wait So you can see the installation is now complete. Now let's click on finish installation.
now after you're done with the installation we have to remove the installation media so let's go to settings and then go to storage so you can see controller over here fedora workstation right click and then remove attachment remove click on ok now let's start our machine again Now let's start the setup, start setup, proceed with everything, you can enable whatever you want, I will just keep everything, full name, next, password, next, and we are done. So we've successfully installed Fedora Workstation on our virtual box, now you can do whatever you want to do with your machine. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.